Uh, which which brings me kind of next to uh, nicely onto our next topic. Yes. Gosh, you want to you want to do the introduction? Ah uh, yes, I watched the documentary. It is called In Silico, and this documentary is about uh, Henry Markram's project, uh, which was to uh, or is still to actually make a brain in silico, so in the computer. And his vision, actually, because you, you see him a lot in this documentary, right? So he um, he has this beautiful vision of doing experiments even in this computer brain that he will make. Uh, and it's, um, I know that the documentary is very interesting to see because uh, like it's a, it's a young documentary maker. I think he comes like directly out of college. He came into this project and this was in like, uh, oh no, it was, must be 2010 or something, like around 2010, Micron started this project, right? And he said, in 10 years, I will make a human brain in the computer. I will simulate the human brain. I, I uh, think the and, uh, initial proposal was 2007, if I recall. Uh, uh, somebody okay. in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong there. That could be, but uh, like the deadline was at some point was 2020. I don't, yeah. because, yeah. 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 Uh, so I think we got the funding in 10 to 10. Sh shall I shall yeah. play a few seconds of that documentary? Let me uh, let me look. Uh, I, uh, grab it. If you play the beginning, it's very wishy-washy. I don't like yeah, the no, beginning. No, I, I think I found the right bit. So here we have. <laughs> in Silico, you, it is now on YouTube. That's kind of why it is news. Um, you uh, can have, go, go and watch it. I will drop the link. I, uh, if you have, can you wait totally one second? Totally different. Because I cannot see what, what you're playing. That's okay. Uh, I will drop that link. Mm-hmm. And then let's play. Our mission is to build a detailed, realistic computer model of the human brain. We have to embody all our data and all our knowledge into a working model. He was abandoning his line of biological research and announcing a new project to build a digital simulation of the brain. So yeah, so, so that is basically what the documentary is about. Uh, Henry Markham decided uh, we forego biological Work. And he's he's an amazing patch plant collective physiologist, by the way. And I should uh, perhaps I, I just um, and I should perhaps declare a slight conflict of interest. Um, my supervisor was a postdoc in the lab of Henry Marker, so I'm like he's like my scientific grandfather. <laughs> so I might be slightly biased towards his work, but he, he has done some really amazing patch plant collective physiology. Uh, they've built this. 12 patch setup where you um, you have one brain and um, you take a brain slice and you can record you put patch pipettes into eight different neurons at the same time or 12 even uh, which isn't used all that much <laughs> uh, I, again I, I heard this from my uh, PI uh, it, it, it's such it takes such a long time to set up that well, people aren't really using it, but uh, I mean, still, like he has done a lot of simultaneous patch plant recordings in uh, many cells in the cortex and discovered many new properties of them. Really figured out how they work, how they're connected. Um, really, we really made a huge contribution to the field. Uh, and my PI kind of my supervisor took that and went down to the stratum to to study that instead. Um, but he's still on some of his papers. So they have a lot of elective physiology data, which is kind of, it's, it's really good data. Um, um, but yeah, but so you have someone who is really good at getting biological data, who then decides, you know what, we're going to use computers from now on. Wait, I mean, morally, I fully agree that I, I, that is awesome. If we can do more experiments in the brain, uh, in, in silico, uh, without having to do biological experiments, that, that would be awesome. That's perfect. Yeah, so there are many uh, neuroscientists uh, who are interviewed in the documentary, right? It's quite interesting. And they all say, uh, we don't know enough, uh, or we don't know anything, or we don't know enough yet to uh, assimilate the whole brain. Um, but also, they are also a bit wrong. Uh, it's like everyone is always a bit wrong <laughs> in science. <laughs> uh, there's an old saying, right? Um, all models are wrong. Some models are useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 